Hi guys and welcome back to the channel Machining with Joe, a channel where I share with you my journey as a beginner home hobbyist machinist. Now today is a video that I've been meaning to do for quite a long time but I just haven't got round to it and now seems the perfect time to do it. So basically what I want to find out is what this Walco WM180 lathe is capable of. So I've got a big block of 50mm aluminium and I've also got some 40mm, this is like mild steel, it's really awful to machine with, leaves a terrible finish, but it's going to be perfect for what we want to do today. So the aim of today guys is basically to get these up in the lathe and take progressively deeper and deeper cuts and see what the Walco WM180 is capable of. Hope you enjoy this video, if you do please give a thumbs up and subscribe, but for now Let's head over to the lathe and see exactly what we're going to be doing. So I'll quickly walk you through the setup that I'm using and then once we've gone through that we're going to start making some chips. So I'm starting off with the mild steel just because it's so horrible I just want to get rid of it ASAP. So we're using a 10mm carbide insert tooling using CCMT inserts. We're going to be starting this off at a 0.2mm depth of cut and from there I'm going to be using my DRO just to gauge how deep a cut we're going. So let's jump straight into it. So this is a 0.2mm cut running the lathe at about 750 RPM. That's actually not giving too bad a finish. Just so happens that it's really, really noisy. So the lathe seemed to handle that really easy. So we're now going to step it up to 0.4 millimeter depth of cut. So 0.4 millimetres and surprisingly that's given quite a nice finish. So we're stepping it up now, this is 0.7 millimetre depth of cut. Well 0.7 millimetres was definitely too much. So from 0.4 millimetres I'm going to step this up now to 0.5 and we'll see how we get on with that. So with this bit of mild steel in here, I think 0.4 millimetres is probably the most you want to go. That was getting really dodgy towards the end there. I'm going to swap this out for aluminium now and we'll see what difference that makes. So from a previous project, I know that this aluminium can actually take some quite deep cuts. So I'm gonna start with a 0.25 millimeter depth of cut and we're gonna work it from there. So stick into the same RPM and we'll just work it down and make some nice chips. So other than the big bird's nest of aluminium swarf we've got there, this is machining really easy and so easy on the lathe, it's unbelievable. So 0.25 millimeter depth of cut was really easy. So I'm now stepping it up to a 0.5 millimeter depth of cut. Just to remember as well guys, the way my DRO works, 0.5 millimeter depth of cut is actually taking off one millimeter across the whole diameter. So 
So again, this is machining really easy. It's giving a fairly good finish other than a few little bits that we keep picking up. So I'm just gonna machine this down now to the whole way and we'll get rid of this swarf after that. So we're doing a whole one millimeter depth of cut now. So taking off two mil from the overall diameter and let's see how this goes. Right, a lot more load on the lathe there to begin with. But now we're settled into the cut, it seems to be machining really nice. And that surface finish is actually really nice. And we'll stop it there. So that's some real big chunks of aluminium there. Right then, this next cut is gonna be 1.25 millimeters. Quite a big cut this, it's gonna be quite deep. I imagine it's gonna be quite noisy as well, but we'll see what sort of finish we get with it. So still at 750 RPM, still the same carbide insert tool in there. I didn't want to push that all the way to the end there. Yeah, that was a really big cut. 1.25 millimeters is really, really deep for this lathe. So I think while we're here and we've got to this stage, it seems silly to stop there. So I'm going to try going a little bit deeper and see what happens. So I'm not going to go to 1.5 mil. I'm not going to carry the pattern on that we've been doing. I'm thinking 1.35 millimeters. And this will take off the overall diameter 2.7 millimeters so let's give this a go this is going to be really noisy guys That actually went surprisingly well. And that's made me think actually, you know what? I'm gonna try a 1.5 millimeter depth of cut. So this is probably the most I'm ever gonna to wanna to take this lathe to, but we're gonna test it out right here, right now. This is 1.5 millimeters, overall diameter of three millimeters off on the Warco WM180 lathe. So let's give it a go. I'm not even going to risk that any further guys. 1.5 millimeters there and the whole lathe was vibrating. The tailstock was even moving down the lathe. So I think we've established that 1.35 was probably the cutoff for this lathe. There we have it then guys. The answer which I've been looking for for quite a while now. How deep can this Walco lathe cut? Well it depends obviously what metal you're using. For this unknown grade of mild steel about 0.4 millimeters was probably the most that you'd want to get away with at 0.4 millimeters it gave a really good finish and didn't pick up too much chatter or harm to the lathe aluminium on the other hand is a completely different kettle of fish so the most i went up to on this was 1.35 millimeters and at 1.35 it was quite safe to move along the work don't get me wrong, it was straining the lathe, but not to a point where I don't think anything dangerous would have happened. But at 1.5 millimeters, I did stop it early, just because the amount of noise, chatter and vibration this thing was picking up, something was bound to go wrong like it did with the mild steel. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. 
and if you were thinking beforehand how deep can the Warco lathe cut, hopefully you have your answer. Thank you for watching this video, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one guys.